Hey, what is going down, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how Norwich and their defensive lineup should set up, in my opinion, how it works best, and how I think we can take this forward into playing Crystal Palace and also Newcastle. Newcastle away being the first game, and Crystal Palace being the home game in two games that we should really get at least three points from. This video is sort of inspired by Canary Tube. If you haven't already, go and check him out. Subscribe to him. Links in the description to his channel. Go over there, tell you I sent him. He's he's the only real uh, Norwich YouTuber, except for me on YouTube. So, on the whiteboard of wisdom, I've written down all of our defensive players with their preferred positions here. And I'm going to run you through each player individually and talk about what they bring to the team and should they play. So, we've got Martin Olsen, first player. Brought him in very, very quick defensively. Well, He's very, very quick and his probably preferred position is the left wing back as he is very good going forwards and isn't superb defensively. We've also got Javier Garrido who can play in that left back position who played throughout the whole of last season and done a very good job. We got him in on um, a permanent from Lazio after the, the one year loan deal that we had him on last season. And I was really excited to see him play this season but with Olsen coming in and he hasn't really had much game time, I did see him a few times in the pre-season friendlies and he looked very poor so I think the left-back position has to really go to Martin Olsen. He brings something else to the team that we've never really had in a left-back who can go forward and, and put crosses in. Right, now we've got to pick our two centre-backs, presuming we play the 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one or whatever we normally play. So we've got, we've got two centre-backs, really. Uh, we've got a fill and we've got three players to fill it. So, Ryan Bennett brought him in from Peterborough. I uh, used to go to my high school, actually, and came through the ranks at Grimsby. What does he bring to the team? Well, he's very cool. He's very composed. He doesn't, he doesn't mind passing out from the back. He's very brave, and he's young. He's, he's ambitious. He wants to do well for his team. Something that I think Turn and Bassong sometimes get a bit complacent with at times because they know they've got an assured first-team place, so they get slightly complacent. I think Ryan Bennett has to go in the team, in my opinion. Um... He's very keen, and at the moment, he's been playing some fantastic football. That is horrific handwriting, so I'm very sorry about that. But that is meant to say Ryan Bennett. So he is the first centre-back I'd put in. Now, the other one is either Turner or Bassong. Bassong, cool, composed. Brought him in from Tottenham, classy Premier League player. Has been fantastic for us. Was our last season player of the season. But it's been slightly poor this season. I think he got very complacent, especially in that Manchester City game. And with Chris Hewitt dropping him, it's really given him... Um, a motive to get back in the team. And I think that is going to be what is going to change his season around. I think Bassong is the other centre-back that we have to play alongside Ryan Bennett. Turner, obviously, fantastic player. I think he's a great backup. Is he the best player out of them three? No, he isn't. I, I, he's far from it. He's not the greatest of players. He can do a job. If ba Bennett or Bassong ever get injured, I think he can come in and do a very good job. Next place, right back. Okay, So we've got Russell Martin and Whitaker. Both Scottish international players. Whitaker more of an attacking-minded fullback, but can do a good job. Russell Martin, our club captain, very good leader, defensively minded, and has been at the club for a long time. A very fantastic servant for us. In my opinion, it's got to be Russell Martin in there. Okay, both of them bring to the team sort of equal playing standards, but um Martin's a leader, and um, since we've lost Grant Holt, I think we've been lacking that slightly. And if you take Russell Martin out of, out of that side, I think you'll lose even more of that. Russell Martin has played the majority of the games this season, but when Whitaker has come in, he's done very well. I mean, he scored that goal against um, Everton, and he also scored against Berry in the Cup. So he, he's been fantastic this season, Whitaker. But I think it's got to be Russell Martin solely for the leadership qualities he brings to the team. So... The defensive lineup I'm going to go with is Olsen, Ryan Bennett, Bassong, and also Russell Martin. If you've got any thoughts on that, please leave, uh, leave me your thoughts. Would you play anybody different? Would you play Garrido instead of Olsen? Maybe bring Turner in there instead of Ryan Bennett and Whitaker at right back. Who knows? Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Tweet me at Talk Norwich City. If you want any of my shirts, go over to my Big Cartel store. Links in the description below. For now, peace out.